So Need for Speed has always been a hot topic on my channel ever since I started making graphics mod for old games. And because of how much I like NFS series for how fun and arcade experience they give you in the game, I make NFS mods every once in a while. And the recent one that I was working on was NFS Underground 2, which I put the most time on any graphics mod I ever did in my entire life, because NFS Underground 2 probably deserved one of the best graphics. Because aside from its bad graphics, this game was pretty dope for its map design, racing game mods and cool car customization. For an old game, this was amazing. Luckily, that mod got quite the attention and was appreciated by almost everyone, but maybe not everyone. But since I was still working on it, I happened to finally make this graphics mod perfect. And now Need for Speed Underground 2 Redux 2 graphics mod is here. The continuation of my previous NFS Underground 2 Redux graphics mod, which I previously did first and long ago. Because of course I don't want anyone to claim Redux to be their graphics mod. It's mine and I started it first. This time I made NFS UG greater than ever. So in this one I literally looked at all of your comments and opinions so that I can make a graphics mod that all of you can like. And since everyone has a headache the moment they see a watery road with lots of reflection even though the original UG2 had more reflection than that, uh, that the reflection I had in the original mod, I decided that I should probably fix that and make the perfect screen space reflection at and tolerable and a realistic level. To do this I had to turn off the original reflection from Underground 2, which is probably not the best reflection. It is very artificial and more artificial than the ray tracing like reflection in Reshade. And after spending almost a couple of hours just on the reflection, I found the perfect setting to make it look good enough. For the ray tracing global illumination, it was already pretty good, but the more that I made was long ago and maybe on March or something and as the time passes Reshade and Marty keep making masterpieces and keep updating their work of art and with the new RTGI 2.21 I'm not using 2. Point, I mean 0 0.23 because for some reason it doesn't work that well on old games such as this one it's not working at all and so I preferred 0 0.21 which seemed to have more option than the older one that I used previous time and I had a lot of scopes to do things more than ever it could interact with the game world more real time and could reach with more objects and more scenario that that wasn't possible before and it can really get you that realistic global illumination that bounces on surface just how amazing is that from the car head slide to the little sign and the other light in the beautiful Dirk City, they interact and they just feel more realistic and more insane. Also, I had to work a little bit on the ambient occulation. I thought that last time it was too bright and also a little bit cartoonish for the nighttime game, so I had to make things more shady, more dark, maintaining detail, and yes, I think AO does a little. I mean, very good job at making this look. I also I also added some cool glow effect because even though you have glow effect in the game, it was actually not a glow but rather a texture that appears on light. Perhaps it was coded in that way since it's an old game. But a real glow shader is a different thing so I did it and actually it interact with bright lights such as back and headlight and other lights making it look very pleasing to look at in the dark because honestly glow effect is a kind of realistic thing in real life you know and I also worked a little bit on the bokeh effect because I think it does look good the game has a separate texture set for long distance object and building which I did not find too pretty so I had to use bokeh and slightly better realistic looking fork so that I can kind of hide it while giving you a very cinematic look that kind of improves the game graphics. Now that I'm done with reshade, I'll talk about what I did with texture. 
Well, as always, my main focus was not to change the look of the game by adding unrealistic road texture with extra colorful environment. So in some cases, I decided to actually just upscale and recreate those old texture with more detail, cracks, dust, and and other artifacts and other effects that you can see on uh, different objects around the world. And that's pretty much it for today's graphics mod, guys. Uh, this is the final and full release of Need for Speed Underground 2 Redux 2, which I promised to release. I hope you like this one. If you do love it, well, give a thumbs up and subscribe. Because sadly, most of you are not subscribed. And also, turn on the notification button to get notified about my new upcoming videos and projects. Support me on Patreon if you want to, support my work, and I'll see you later.